There are a lot of cool actors that played in the two Captain America television movies from 1979. Some might even surprise you as to the huge popularity of their work. Now, in the first movie, Lance Legault plays a bad guy. Once more, where's the film? I don't know. He showed up in a lot of 80s television, but you probably remember him most as Colonel Decker, one of the guys who chased the A-Team around. He also did some narration on a few episodes of Airwolf. Dangerous stunt comes between Stringfellow and Dominic, but it proves to be more than a movie, as an international privateer uses Stringfellow in a gold heist. Hulk fans may also recognize Lance from the Incredible Hulk Season 2 episode, Deanna Walk Horror, from 1978. On that episode, he played with another actor from the second Cap TV movie, William Lucking. Lucking plays one of the bad guys that Steve Rogers whoops up on. Lucking also played on the Hulk episode Dark Side, as well as a ton of other classic TV shows. I loved the spot scene as a kid, seeing Steve Rogers just effortlessly dispatch a group of what amounts to bullies was truly inspirational. <laughs> Now, Steve Forrest also played a bad guy in the first movie. He was the lieutenant in the SWAT TV series of the 70s, and he did an episode of The Twilight Zone, along with appearances in a lot of classic TV shows. Another bad guy actor that played on The Twilight Zone was Joseph Ruskin. In the second TV movie, Cap takes on a terrorist named General Miguel, played by Christopher Lee. It's a shame, really, because in any other circumstances, we might have been friends. I doubt that, General. Lee appeared as the legendary vampire Dracula a total of ten times. So I guess he was a natural choice to play a villain in a superhero movie. It's too bad he didn't reprise his role as Dracula for the Cap TV movies. Then we could have had a Dracula vs. Captain America TV movie, which would really have been awesome. Here's a bit of trivia for you. Christopher Lee later appeared in the Hobbit trilogy, opposite several actors who had appeared opposite the new Captain America. Hugo Weaving and Richard Armitage had previously appeared in Captain America the First Avenger. Martin Freeman appeared in Captain America Civil War. Benedict Cumberbatch appeared in Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. The TV Captain America Red Brown and Christopher Lee appeared again together in Howling 2. Your Sister is a Werewolf in 1985. And of course, Christopher Lee also played in Star Wars. Recognize this bad guy? That's Stanley Camel. He played Monk's Doctor from the USA Detective series Monk. And in the second TV movie, Connie Selica played Wendy Day. She went on to play the greatest American hero's girlfriend. Lynn Berman played Dr. Simon Mills on the Cat movies. He appeared in a lot of classic TV shows like BJ and the Bear, Logan's Run, Airwolf, Six Million Dollar Man, and a lot of others. Here's a trivia fact for you. Red Brown was the second live action Captain America. Dick Purcell played Cap in a 1944 movie serial before that. Now, speaking of the main star of the Captain America movies, Red Brown, I've done a whole other video on his role in the Captain America TV movies. I'll put the link in the description below and at the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and please hit the bell for future notifications. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.